Hi guys, Jordan with Motion Array, and today we're going to be taking a look at our new distorter plugins for Premiere Pro and how you can use them to make your projects even more awesome. These distortion plugins are amazing. They're basically a combination of motion and distortion to give a fluid and trippy transition that seamlessly blends one clip to the next. And like all of our plugin transitions, these work by simply dragging and dropping right from your effects panel. So we're gonna get right into it and learn how to use these, but if you wanted to learn more about how to install these, feel free to check out the full video we have on that topic and I'll make sure to leave a link for you to check it out. And even though you need a paid subscription to get rid of the watermark on these, they're free to try out and play around with. And when you download these, you download our entire catalog of plugins and the shifter set is completely free. So there's no reason not to check these out. So once you get these plugins installed, you can find them in your effects panel under video transitions and in their own folder called MA Distorter. From here, you can just drag and drop them onto the cutting point between two pieces of footage and the transition is ready to go. Play through to see it in action. And in this set, there's four distinct transitions, Bulger, Rippler, Roller, and Stretcher. But once you drop one of these down, you don't just have to use them as they are, you can actually have an insane amount of control over how these plugins look. To change these up, just highlight the plugin and then go up to your effect controls panel. Here we can see that for the bulger transition, we have a bunch of different parameters able to be edited. Anchor will allow us to change up the direction and angle at which the motion is actually taking place. Maybe you wanna push in or out from a particular part of the frame. With these controls, you can actually do that. Next up, we have rotation. This changes how much rotation takes place during the course of the transition. Setting it to zero will give you no rotation, while setting it to a higher number, it will give you more of a twisting motion throughout the transition. Fisheye amount dictates literally how much bulge takes place during the bulger transition, while fisheye radius controls how far that bulge spreads through the frame. 100 will make it closer and more extreme at the center, and 200 will push it to spread farther out towards the edge of frame. Bloom Amount controls how intense this bright light effect is, which takes place throughout the entire transition to help blend the two clips together. While RGB Offset impacts how much of a color splitting effect happens. Random Seed simply chooses a new starting point for the RGB Offset to randomize the look. And finally, you have a binary on-off checkbox to either activate or deactivate motion blur during the course of the transition and an amount slider which controls its intensity. 10 will give you a lot, while zero will take away any instance of motion blur. The only additional parameters to show you would be with the roller transition. So if we pop it on, we can see that we also have a movement direction and roll amount. Direction will change literally the direction of motion to exactly what it says. Right now it's set to left to right, so the transition will happen from the left to the right. But we can change that to right to left, top to bottom, or bottom to top. And finally, the roll amount controls how many times the image will flip before remaining stationary. We can see that if we set it to one, it only flips through from the one clip to the next. But if we set it to 10, it goes crazy, rotating 10 times before it actually settles on the new image. Okay, so now that we've shown you guys how to actually edit these transitions, I wanna show you how you can apply some creative uses to absolutely get the most out of these. Each of these transitions can help to recreate a look or a style that can bring up some creative ideas. The bulge transition, for example, with its fisheye lens effect, makes me think of literally an eyeball. So what I thought is maybe using this transition to go from a scene to the eye that's viewing it, like this. So why don't we start by placing both our clips down and we'll place one on top of the other, placing our eye clip over top of our scenery clip. Now we can add the bulger transition and set the parameters to the following. Rotation zero, so there's no spin, fisheye amount to something less dramatic, like 20, and make sure that motion blur is turned on and set all the way up. Now we can see that our transition takes place as the eye is becoming visible making it look as if the eye was the one viewing the scene the whole time. But that's a pretty particular use case. What about something that you'd use a little bit more often? Like a whip pan. Something that's used in a ridiculous number of different scenarios and is usually planned out with a camera movement ahead of time. Well, you can actually fake a whip pan with this effect using the roller transition. 
So once we drop it in between the two clips we want to whip between, we can change up some parameters to make it look even more like a whip fan. Set the movement to whatever direction you want to actually whip from, and then go to. Set the roll amount to 1. The bulge amount to something a lot lower, like 15 to 20. You could also set it to 0 if you just want a 2D horizontal whip from one to the other, but setting the bulge to something a little higher than 0 will help it to look like the camera has a bit of swing or an arc to it like the camera is actually whipping on a tripod head and not just moving in 3D space from left to right. Set bloom to zero, set RGB offset to zero, and turn on motion blur and set it as high as you can. And voila, you've got a fake whip pan. But here's our last little tip. If you didn't want to do all of that work again, setting it up for each individual whip pan transition, again and again for each time you use it, you can actually save all of your work with our plugins as a new preset. Just highlight the transition you just edited, and then go up to Effect Controls. Now right click here on the name of the transition, and select Save Preset. Here you can name it so that it's really easy to recognize, and I like to keep mine preserved to scale. And you can find your preset now by going to your Effects panel, and looking inside of the Presets folder. And now when you drag and drop this new version in, you get all of that work you just did. Now just set the direction, and you're good to go. But we've only used this on footage so far. We can actually use these transitions on titles as well to make them look really cool. Here's my favorite way to use them. I like to make a piece of text that really stands out, and then I'll make three to four exact duplicates of it by holding Alt and dragging to duplicate it. Then add the Rippler effect to each one and make sure each version is a little longer or shorter, so they all take place at slightly different times. Once that's all set, Highlight each one and change up the anchor amount to give a new direction and feel to the distortion. And feel free to play around with the barrel amount to impact the bowing effect. Once you get that done for each of these, you should have something that looks like this. But you can take this up a bit by adding some effects. Like for example, we can add a find edges effect and set it to inverse so that we only get the outline of our text. Doing this for all except for one of your text layers makes it look like there's one true piece of text and then other pieces that are ghosting around it. Now, nest each of these layers and set each of them to screen in effect controls under opacity. And our text has multiple iterations of the transition, but some of them are just outlines with the middle showing through. And now finally, you can add the same transition to each for a perfect synchronized transition out or stagger them for extra impact. Guys, we hope you really enjoy using our new Distorter Transition Set. Like I mentioned before, feel free to try these out for yourself, for free, and keep the Shifter Set as our gift to say thanks. But guys, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you in the next video.